Let me just take a minute and have Senator Hatch come forward. Uh, we're very, very delighted to have you here in the state of Nevada, Senator, and thank you for taking time. We'll just walk right past and fill us up. Glad to have you all in here. Let's let them know how supportive we are. Well, I'm honored to be with you, and especially with Dean Heller and, and your legislative candidate. Let me just say something. Uh, this is a very important state. It could well be the state that put Mitt Romney over. Puts Mitt Romney over. Romney over. Yeah. And frankly, as of today, it's a tie vote in this state, according to at least one uh, one uh, poll and uh, the one-point lead for Obama in the other poll. And let me just say this, I am really impressed with your United States Senator, D Dean Heller. Yes. I've watched him. He's a very bright guy. And let me tell you, I really would love to have him on the Senate Finance Committee where he would really help us with the financial background that he's had uh, and the way he worked his way through the University of Southern California. Let me tell you something. He has already made a, a, a very, very good name for himself in the United States Senate. I go all the way back to Paul Exalt, you know, who's one of my dearest friends on earth. Paul and I worked our butts off for uh, Ronald Reagan, and of course, uh, I was the only person Ronald Reagan had ever pre-primary endorsed. And uh, it was really a wonderful thing, because I was going to win by about nine points. I won two to one when he pre-primary endorsed me. Let me tell you something. We have to have Dean back. This is one of the most important races in the country. He was not exaggerating. We've got to have him back. I had to fight my way through up there in Utah because I had some real difficulties, but we were able to get through the roughest part. Now we still have to win, and we're going to try and do that. But let me tell you something. This is a key race, and he is a key person in the United States Senate already after only been, having been there a short time. I expect Dane Heller to rise in the Senate to become one of the leading people in finance and in, uh, on the economy, in the whole United States Center. Wow. And I'm not just saying that. And actually, I consider him one of my best friends, so I, you know, you can take it any way you want to, but I, I, I don't make comments like that uh, if I don't believe them. This state's in trouble. You've got a 12.1% unemployment rate, you have a number of other uh, problems in the state. It is such a great state, there's no excuse for that. And I have to say that uh, I think Dean will definitely help you to pull out of those difficulties. Now, I hope you'll all get out there and vote. But it's more, it's more important to the whole process for each and every one of us to make those telephone calls, to make those door-to-door -door visits to our friends, our neighbors, and even those we don't even know. If we'll all get out and do that, we're going to win this. And we're going to win it in Nevada. And Nevada may be the pivotal state to win it in. So I'm hoping that all of you really take this seriously and get out and do this and get in this office and make as many phone calls as you can, but also go door to door and do the things that have to be done. You, you'll find it's quite a bit of fun. Every once in a while I get chewed up every once in a while, but that, not even that's fun, you know. <laughs> but most people will really appreciate you. Now let me chat about my friend Mitt Romney. I've known Mitt Romney for a long time. We in Utah probably know him better than most people because we were in real trouble on the, on the Winter Olympics. We were $400 million in the hole. We couldn't raise another dime because there were allegations of fraud, mismanagement, even criminal allegations. They were inaccurate, but they were there. And it was stultified. It looked as though it was going to be the biggest uh, eyesore in the history of the Olympic movement. We brought Mitt Romney in. Immediately, he brings the right financial people in. Immediately, he turned the whole administrative process around. Money started rolling in. We had the best Winter Olympics in the history of the Olympic movement. Yeah. 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 And we wound up with a hundred billion dollar surplus in the end. Now that's leadership. That's job creating leadership. 
Ben Yip gets the stupid idea to go back and run for governor in Massachusetts. Can you imagine, of all places? But he wins. Massachusetts was three billion bucks in the hole. When a billion dollars was a lot of money. That was supposed to be humorous. I thought you'd all catch that. He not only cleaned up the three billion dollars, but he balanced a bunch for each of four years. And let me tell you, pulled that state right out of the difficulties it was in. And he did it with a state legislature, 87% opposed to almost everything he wanted to do. And he can do it here. And he can do it in this country. That's right. Not only can he, he will do it. And he'll have a lot of help from Dean Heller and myself, and a lot of others that I can name here today. Let me just say, Utah has been greatly benefited because of Mitt Romney. We now are looking for another Winter Olympics. But we have people from all over the world that have found Utah skiing because of the Winter Olympics. Massachusetts, I remember uh, since uh, Senator Kennedy and I were quite close, we fought each other all the time. I mean, he'd be screaming over on his side of the floor as only Ted Kennedy can do with the decibel level going up like this. And, and waving and screaming, I'm ready to punch him right in the mouth, you know. And then, <laughs> then he'd walk over to me and say, how'd I do after it was over? And <laughs> how, how'd he get mad at somebody like that? But let me tell you something, he had a lot of respect for Mitt Romney. And a lot of Democrats up there, they were calling him R. Mitty. Now, it is a Democrat state, there's no use kidding. And I've got to say that uh, he turned it around. Now, there's never been a time in this country other than the Great Depression when we need a turnaround artist to come in and turn our country around. And Mitt Romney said no. Oddly enough, not only is Mitt a turnaround artist, so is your senator. He's very, very smart. He understands what's going on. He's so likable that I think virtually everybody likes him. Perhaps not Harry Reid, but most everybody. Who cares about Harry Reid? That's said by one of them. I happen to be Harry's friend, but I, and, and yes, hoping that someday I can pull him right out of the morass he's been in all these years. But, but let me just say this to you. This is the most important political election of my lifetime, and of your lifetime, too. This country is in real big trouble. This is the greatest country in the world, and we can pull it out of that trouble. I've been all over the world. I was the longest serving person on the Senate Intelligence Committee. And yes, some of these worldwide leaders are always criticizing us, but I've met with them behind the scenes. And almost every one of them will say, boy, pull America out of this. Because we depend on America. We don't want the Chinese Yuan to be the world's uh, monetary peg. We want the dollar to be the world's monetary peg. And we know that America stabilizes the world. That's what they'll say behind the scenes, even though for political purposes they like to bash us publicly. Now, I've got to tell you, we have a president who I personally like as a human being, but who really doesn't know what he's doing. And who does not believe in American exceptionalism. Amen. And I've got to tell you, I think he wants to bring us down to the level of Europe. And let me tell you, everybody in Europe except Germany is in real trouble. And I don't want to see that happen. And so all of us have got to get out and work. We've got now just three weeks, a little over three weeks to go. And I mean, every one of you could make a difference in that. It's going to come down to Nevada. I'm telling you. And this is a very, very important state. Dean Heller, if he runs well, and he is, and you get behind him like you should, he'll help push Romney over. Yes. Romney, <laughs> Mitt Romney is going to help push Dean over. Right. But we got to have them both help each other. And then we'll be in the Senate to help Mitt Romney turn this country around. Yeah. just close with this. I know both men. I know what fine men they are. Having said that, I loved the debate last night. I said, 
I said that to Joe Biden for 34 years. Yeah. <laughs> and I gotta admit, I got so frustrated at times I wanted to get up and just walk out of the Judiciary Committee, but he is a good man. Uh, he, he, he really is a sincere man. He really believes all that BS. <laughs> and, and I can't get mad at somebody who's a true believer. But let me tell you something. The difference between the, those two men last night was like night and day. Paul Ryan looked presidential. He looked vice presidential. He showed great deference to Joe Biden. The interruptions were made by Joe almost all night long, and they were really mean interruptions, I thought. And the mugging and the smiling and the, and the rolling of the eyes and all that stuff, I think that was beneath Joe's dignity. But he knew that he was up against a very formidable person. Paul Ryan is a very bright guy, and he's been one of the new wave of really, really bright people in the Congress who are making a real difference. And he had the guts to admit to America that, and, and by the way, Biden admitted last night that they've protected, they think they've protected Medicare up to, to 2022, 10 years from now, yeah. when it goes broke if we don't do something. Yeah. And the Democrats are not willing to do anything to try and resolve that. So those of you who are, who are seniors or about to become seniors, you've got to be very concerned that we've got to find ways of literally solving these problems and making sure there's a future in Social Security, Medicaid, and Medicare for our young people as well. And I think we can do that, but we're gonna to have to have more Republicans to do it. So this race here is extremely important. Paul and I are good friends. Paul Exalt and I are good friends. And Dane Heller and I are very good friends, I've gotta tell you. And Mitt Romney and Ann are also very good friends. He's not in this for himself. They could have the nicest life imaginable and he could have made a lot more money too the fact is he's in it because he believes this is the greatest country in the world and it's in real difficulty because of the poor leadership that we've had over the last number of years so let me just thank you all for being here this means so much to me to have all of you here but get out there and make these phones work get out and talk to your neighbors and friends get on that phone at home do everything you can to get out the vote. Because voting starts next Saturday, day after tomorrow. And if we, and keep in mind, 80%, as I understand it, I may be wrong, but I think I'm right, 80% of the votes that are cast in Nevada are cast during that period. And that means that you've got to start now, and this next week is a key <coughs> battleground week. So every one of you can give the time, you can walk door to door, you can get on the phone, you can talk to your neighbors. Every one of you will make a difference in helping to save our country. This is a pivotal race. It's one reason I'm here. Plus my friendship for Dean Heller, my friendship for Paul Laxalt and others, and my friendship for an awful lot of people here in Nevada who we happen to love and respect, Elaine and I. But I can tell you right now, this is a race that can be won in the Senate, it's a race that can be won in the presidency, and it'll be the race that will put Mitt Romney over. So that is very, very important. Well, all I can say is thank God for all of you, and thanks for being so nice. <laughs>